So uh, the, today's uh, yeah, lecture is, is the final one. It's try to talk about for the application of the general relativity image this uh, work. So yesterday I can uh, give about for the three plus one formalism. This is uh, how to solve in for the numerically on the general relativity image simulation. And then I today I can give to the this some application. Of course, the this is the application is relative astrophysics. I can show about for the this is first talk. I can uh, the give up to here. The first, is the, I think we can think about for the three big category for the uh, astrophysics. Why the, the black hole directly? So the, if it's about high or low mass accretion rate, is the, this is AGN is one of the target. And then tidal disruption event is also a concern about for the relativistic effect. And then X-ray binary, uh, and then long soft gamma, uh, gamma reverse binary, uh, black hole, black hole merger for the gravitation wave. So this is the, yes, the serial mass black hole. This is the mostly the uh, supermassive black hole, the case. Neutron star, a neutron star also it can apply for the several uh, changing for the metric, and then it's better to consider about for the uh, special relativistic or general relativistic effect also. So the pulsar magnosphere, quarkle supernova, short hard gamma reverse, and the neutron star neutron merger of the gravitation wave. This is uh, both this is a black hole merger or neutron star neutron star merger, uh, need consider about for solving for the Einstein equation. So it means to the uh, the Space time is also time independent to changing. So this is the most hardest calculation onto the this kind of simulation. Then is a jet and the relative spin. Also we can see about for the extra galactic jet or out from the AGN. Also the pulsar, we can see the pulsar jet or pulsar wind. And then in the stellar mass black hole, we can see the micro start or also gamma ray bars which may be related for the jet. So and also relativist also physics is mostly now also uh, sometimes using for the uh, relativist heavy ion collision, in the, especially into the, our Frank group, in the several group also try to do it for the heavy ion collision, try to make it for the simulation. They are also developing for the relativist hydrodynamic cause. The formulation is a little bit different to the, our uh, astrophysical using because they also put on the, some additional, uh, mass, uh, how to say, is a microscopic uh, treatment also included here, but this is a different. So standard picture is here. So the plasma is accreted onto the some compact star. I just said to the black hole over there. So this is the uh, the most uh, the common picture to use in for the, this relativistic astrophysics work. So uh, first talk about for the mode of the accretion. Rate. So we have a uh, two different uh, the accretion rate. So that we say simply the low accretion rate or high accretion rate. The low accretion rate is that we are getting for the radiatively inefficient accretion flow. Sometimes we say the layoff. This is the making for the optical thin and then geometrical thick type of the, the solar structure. If you think about for the high accretion rate, this is making for the classical standard extra knife type of thin. This is making for the optical thick and geometrical thin uh, accretion disk. So this is a, a basic two different. Of course, this is high accretion rate going to the more higher. We say our uh, the super accretion rate. This is getting for the different picture, but Classically, we can think about what's the lower accretion rate, low or high. Then, which this is depend on to the geometry of the accretion torus structure. So this is a, a, a bigger man is writing for to the some a, a, some a diagram of the black hole accretion. First, starting for the black hole accretion. If this is rotation important, if no, ah, it's ah, it doesn't see about here. Yes, okay. So this is that if this is lower than to the uh, GM over C, it means to the bondy accretion type thing. This is a spherical accretion flow. If this is a L equals larger than to GM over C, it becomes a centrifugal chalk structure. Then this is going to here. Next point, radiation efficiency is high or low. So it means the low accretion rate or high accretion rate. If this is a high accretion rate, it be becomes to the thin accretion disk. If this is a low accretion rate case, this is become the layoff case, radiation inefficient accretion flow over there. Then, if this is a layoff case, this is a quasi Keplerian case, this is a, a no, it's making for the a star like is a narrow is a funnel. Or this is like this uh, a quasi Keplerian, this making for the slim disk, ADAF, or ADIOS. This is a, some other a branch of the solution is made up there. Then, after that, we can think about what the black hole spin and the uh, magnetic field. This is a, a high enough. Maybe we can get in for the some jet. Yeah, of course. Yep. 
This is doesn't consider a buffer to this one. Yes, this is a, yeah, one of the schematic picture. And also my feeling is this part, is a thin accretion disk making for this, maybe I think this is a question mark. So from the ADAF black hole come, uh, uh, no, the black hole, uh, the spin and the magnetic flux making for jet, maybe this is yes. But from the thin disk to through to the this one, maybe no. Uh, based on the current simulation. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so the, this is a, uh, yeah. This is the most frontier of to the current uh, the black hole accretion work. Is a, this is observation side is an event horizon telescope project. So event horizon telescope project is a VLBI imaging of the black hole is a directly getting for the, this uh, shadow image. And then now it's, we consider two large black hole mass in the sky. This is Saita ESA and M87. And the important point is the both low luminous AGN. So this is a considerable for the, this kind of the work, right? So this is LIAF and the optical thin and the geometrical thick structure. Then, so this is the early EHT observation using for the Karma SMT and the SMA, including for the JCMT. This is the nearby to there. So this is a, a Saito ESA case and the M87 case. So I think maybe you are not so much familiar over there. This is the baseline up to the H, the VLBI station, and then this is the correlation flux over there. So the first, this is a blue dot line. This is we say getting for the, the shorter baseline. It's getting for the most of the energy uh, emission is just only for the one single Gaussian component part of it. So we are getting for the uh, total flux of the source, but we cannot resolve it for the structure. Then uh, the EHT is getting for the this kind of uh, the point over there. So it means that we are something uh, resolved to the, some smaller structure. This structure size is around to the, uh, the four supervised radius, and then similar to the M87. So this is an unresolved line, and then we are getting for the, uh, the source flux over there. Then we can also get in for the, this kind of the emission region over there. Then this is typically around to the 5.5 supercell radius. Here we can also write in for to the, some uh, the model. To the, this is a Gaussian model or a ring type model. Unfortunately, based on the, this, is a, this sparse data point, uh, both uh, the Gaussian model and the ring type model is both applicable. Currently. But recently, getting for the 2070 observation, we can get in for the more, uh, the less sparse data is observed. Then maybe we can say about for the water structure, this will become a still Gaussian or a ring. We can uh, clearly show about the difference. Yes? So, uh, like you cannot say this is like yeah. Yes. And M87 is still Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a, no, of course, uh, uh, what the size of the, uh, the angular resolution is also depend on to the, what the size of the black hole and to the distance, right? Yeah, so, but I, 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 I mean, both are roughly similar mass, like in the same power space, right? And yes, because, uh, but the black hole mass is a uh, two order difference. Two order? 10 to 6, 10 to 8. Oh, okay. So this is the cancel out of the uh, distance yeah. effect over there. So of course this is a yes. I can show about for the later a little bit more as a listed up to there. Okay. So this is the shortest wavelength VLBI. Why we are concerned about for the uh, okay yeah. If we go back hmm? uh, the, the, the two image is the wavelength right? So of the VLBI right? Yeah. This is a yeah. This is a uh, baseline because the this is getting for to the SMA and the JCMT is a baseline information. This is uh, something with the, uh, the SMA to karma or SMT. SMT, yeah, mm -hmm. the data has come up to there. Yeah. So we are making for the uh, three uh, the triangle information. We have a uh, three different baseline information over there. So this is different something. Yeah, this is, uh, yes, more data. Yes, because we, if you're doing for the different date, different time, yeah. data point is also in, including for now accumulated number of the things. Yeah. Okay, so this is the, uh, the why we are doing for the shortest wavelengths. So the roughly angular resolution is getting for the wavelengths over to the uh, the distance up to the uh, baseline up to the each uh, the antenna of the telescope. 
Then if you think about a centimeter, this is coming around the 0.5 uh, milliarc second. If you go into the, uh, the baseline, it doesn't change it because of course, now if you're observing for the Earth, our side is also the fixed. You see. We cannot increase for this one if you're going up to the space. So that simply we can just think about for the more shortest, shortest wave line, uh, wavelengths, then getting for the more higher resolution. So now we are using for the 1.3 millimeter to 30 gigahertz. This is around to the 30 microarc second. Roughly, this is roughly. We say actually I think 25, 26 microarc second to calculate it more precisely. And then uh, in future we are getting for the 340 gigahertz. This is getting for the actual sub millimeter wavelengths, 0 0.8 millimeter, and then angular resolution size around the 20 microarc second. Then this is also an, another important point of view is the side of a star is have a interstellar matter as uh, a scattering. Okay. This scattering is also proportion error. Uh, it's a square of the proportion to the wavelengths. So wavelengths become smaller, this scattering size becomes smaller and smaller. Then usually this is a very a centimeter wavelength. Is a side of a star is just only the one blob, completely scattered to the emission structure over there. But if you go into the uh, millimeter or some millimeter, maybe this we can see about for the more smaller structure. Then clearly see about for the shadow we expect. Okay, so shadow size is writing for the around the 50 microarc second, 40 microarc second for the M87 case. So this is a, a rough estimate for the calculation size. Okay, so. M87 is uh, uh, smaller. Smaller. Hmm? Ah, yes, this is including for today, yes. This is a rough estimate of the size. Of course, think about for the spin, but uh, this is just only for the 5% difference. Maybe after that, I can show about for the, some difference also. Yep. So uh, the EHT has already shown about there. So this is an international collaboration project, uh, the VLBI, uh, at a millimeter or centimeter wavelengths. And then 2017 observation, we are now including for the eight telescope point. And then we have uh, more data and then using for the 1.3 millimeter, and then two main target over there. So I think it's already shown about that. Maybe I can skip part of there. So this is a, a, the list of the information about size study A star and the M87. Left is the column is the M87, and the right column is the size study A star. So you see about for the mass, it's, oh, sorry, this 10 to minus nine. This is 10 to minus not six, yeah. And, uh, eight. This is, yeah, so this is a, difference about for the ambiguity of the uh, two order. Three times 10 to eight or six times 10 to eight. This is a, a different of the mass size. Still, we don't know yet. And then Saita A star is well uh, cal uh, calculated for the mass because of the stellar motion or something. Then this is a lot of four times six, 10 to six, super ship. Ah, yes, the solar mass. Distance is, yeah, you know, this is uh, 16 megapaths and the five point 8.5 kilopaths, completely different size, but based on to the, this different size of the black hole mass, then uh, the, shibashi, uh, the shadow size is around 20 to the 40 micro arc second and 52 micro arc second. So now we are touching for to the, this uh, EH observation, getting for the, this wavelength. There. And the important point also is getting for there. Uh, M dot is, yeah, both uh, they had a smaller uh, mass accretion rate, 10 to minus four, 10 to minus eight, so it means to the uh, low, low mass yeah, accretion rate. <coughs> so this is a low luminous AGN. And then, uh, yes, the important point is also the scattering is also M87, no, but Saita S says yes. And then the, oh, the time scale is uh, something about GM over C square, uh, C uh, triple we can calculate around to the M87 case around eight hours. But if you think about the site of A star, it's 20 seconds. So if something happened with the Shibashi or gravitational radius sites to happen for some, uh, some something, this information is only for the, uh, the delta T becomes 20 seconds. So this is quite small number is come out of there. And then so the ISCO period also the around to the, four to the uh, 54 uh, days, and also this is uh, the minute. This power is, we know, is a well calculated of the M87 case, but size the AS star case is no. We don't know yet that this is also have a jet or not. So the M87 is the best object for the relativity jet study. 
because a related jet is a yes, elongated collimated outflow of the plasma with a relative speed. Also, launching from the accretion compact object is the center of the icing the black hole, and then M87 is the observed huge space range from the mega particle to less than one parsec. Then now it's uh, there's some questions also come up there. I think you also know about that this is the most largest side of the M87, and then uh, also much wavelengths getting for the jet, and then smaller one is also getting nicely keeping for the jet structure up there. So this is a global structure of the M87. So the, uh, this is uh, uh, the Asada and the Nakamura and the Hada is also trying to make for the, what the jet, jet size of there, then getting for the uh, different frequency. And then this is the project of the, uh, from the, uh, the different position over there. Then uh, we have found the interesting, this is the, one of the line is coming from the here. Uh, this is from the black hole region, then uh, shortest, smallest, uh, nearest the core and the black hole. This is getting for still nicely one of the, uh, the, uh, the line, but this is, looks like a bending for the, this one over there. So th we have uh, some uh, the broken uh, the power of the different powers show up there. And then this broken region is most also related for the bonty radius, and then this is over collimated at the HST region, it's also here over there. So important thing that this is the first inner region is getting for the parabolic structure. This is the uh, R equals 1.7, maintain over the 10 to 5 uh, Schweizer radius up to here. <coughs> then uh, the, it looks like an external confirmation is happened to there. So after that, I also try to about for the, uh, this, what is the ex external uh, confinement is important for the jet physics now. And then, so the transition of the, the streamline, uh, presumably the occur beyond the uh, gravitational influence of the supermassive black hole, it means to the bondy uh, radius here. And then uh, the far region is a jet stream like a conical shape. So they go almost just proportional to the R. Then this stationary feature HST1 is a consequence of the jet recollimation due to the pressure imbalance at the transition. So maybe from to the bondy radius inside or outside, we are think about for the some uh, the pressure imbalances may be different to changing over there. Then this jet shape is also changing over there. Then this is making for the uh, equilibrium shock type structure over there. <coughs> so this is uh, one of the uh, schematic picture to making for the what's the current uh, the understanding of the relative jet. So relative jet we have a uh, uh, the I think it's two big different uh, the region. One is a pointing flux dominated region, and then after that it becomes a kinetic energy flux dominated region. Because uh, recently the jet formation uh, theory is, we uh, prefer to make it for the jet is made by the magnetic energy is dominated. So jet landed by the MHC process, it's making for the pointing flux dominated jet with a twisted magnetic field over there. But in the observation, still, we see some uh, the jet is almost kinetic energy flux is dominated. So magnetic energy become very, very weak. So we need to think about somewhere we need exchange for the, this energy between to the magnetic energy to the kinetic energy. Then somewhere we have uh, some transition region over there. So the between to the also uh, this magnetic energy to kinetic energy dominated region, also we see some uh, collimation structure to change. So this is a, a one of the a picture, but also we need the, some rapid magnetic energy dissipation to make it for the kinetic energy dominated with the far away for the jet region. So this is a, a one of the a missing point and also my a research point about to there. So uh, the first talk about the jet formation and the acceleration mechanism. So jet is formed uh, the, near the central uh, compact object, like the black hole or neutron star. Some accreting matter is getting the some force to make a jet like it outflow. Ingredient is here rotation, accretion disk, and magnetic field. And the jet base is maybe rotating disk or compact object directly from the black hole or the neutron star. So, jet formation and the acceleration mechanism is still under debate, but the most promising mechanism is the acceleration and the formation by the rotating twisted magnetic field. So this is, we say, the magnet uh, the MHD process. And then also the other possibility is concerned about for the gas pressure, radiation pressure, is also making for some part of the acceleration of the flow. So this is a, 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 a summarized also a little bit about for the jet formation. 
uh, mechanism. Gas or radiation pressure, this is also related to the Brownfall leads or uh, Odell's is a very uh, late paper. This is a push accretion matter onto the make and the acceleration outflow by the pressure gradient. So make it to the gas pressure gradient or radiation pressure gradient. This is making for the uh, yes outflow. And also the expansion of the magnetic tower, this is making for the, uh, the Linden bell. This is the mainly toroidal magnetic field from start and the uh, acceleration by the magnetic pressure. Magnus centrifugal force is uh, proposed by the uh, Brownfeld pain mechanism. And this is famous name. So the mainly poroidal magnetic field anchor to the disc or rotating object. Then disc and the ergosphere, the black hole act like a, a, the crank. Then torque transmit through to the poroidal field and then power to making for the jet. So this is a magnetic field. It's sluting for the accretion disc and the accretion disc is rotated around to over there. This is attached to the, this plasma blob to the magnetic field, this is making for the centrifuge, then making for the jet formation or outflow developed there. Brownfeld knife process, this is a directly extract the black hole the rotating energy and convert to the outward the pointing flux. This is also considered about for the phosphor limit. So MHD pen load process is similar mechanism, but this is considered about for the MHD and the plasma. So this is now I show about for the four pain is acceleration mechanism, but we don't know which one is favor to working onto the, this uh, actual object. <coughs> so this is a uh, uh, most of the case in okay. Yep. Yep. That's right. I think that this is a uh, one comment, but uh, I this is a little bit is changing for the what's the acceleration mechanism based on the magnetic tower. This is made of the magnetic pressure, dom uh, the driven type of work, or magnetic centrifugal force. This is a little bit different. So that even for the one uh, the magnetic field slitting for the, uh, the disc, mm -hmm. I try to yeah say differently this part of there. Yes, no, of course. I agree. Yeah. I agree yes. Then also, yes, the ergosphere is maybe, yes, the brown fault knife. Yes, this is directly exert energy from the black hole, not this. Yes, this is, yes. <coughs> so in the in ideal MHG limit, so the infinity conductivity, the plasma flow is connected with the magnetic field. So it means the rotation of the accretion disk of a compact object switches up the magnetic field into the toroidal component. To see. So this is a pulsar magnetosphere. Also, we can see above for some uh, field is a Twist it up. This is the crossing the magnetized supernova core. This is like this uh, a gamma ray bus also making for some twist. This is a, a magnetized accretion disk around the neutron star or black hole. This is also easy to make for the helical magnet field. Even for the uh, rotate magnet sphere of the rotating black hole sphere, also twisting the magnet field, making for the disk kind to the twist up. So toroidal magnet field is very essential to if conserve for to the uh, the MHD process into the near the black hole region. What compact store object? John, yeah. Yeah. So uh, the, this is a, some schematic picture about for the brown photonic process. Uh, because the brown photonic process originally is uh, proposed by the uh, concept of this kind of situation, car space time, steady and asymmetric structure, slow rotating of the black hole, and then Magnetic field structure is split monopole. It means that this is one direction is going to the radially, and then this direction is opposite polarity, but this is still part of the radial magnetic field. And then forcefully uh, approximation, so it means uh, electromagnetically dominated situation, and uh, this is a yes, it's a close there. So the, this is a, in this case, its current is flowing to the uh, the black hole. 
And then around the uh, accretion disk, the, this is the middle of the, the equator plane, current is also going up to there. Then uh, the E cross B uh, power, uh, the pointing flux is going to the upward over there. Then this is driving for the closed current system, because this is only for lines from to here, but they doesn't think about the how to closing over there. So we need some loading up to the, at the infinity to make it for the closing of the this current. But this is a, a subject of strong uh, criticism over there. Of course, how to loading for the at the infinity, this is unfold, we don't know yet. But this is a, if this is making for some closed current, and then somewhere it's, this is loading for the part, this is making for some energy extract over there. But of course, this is a, a, the horizon is assumed at the rotating conductor. This is a, such as a membrane paradigm, is including here. But this ohmic dissipation increases for the black hole entropy. But the horizon is causally disconnected. This is the pan it's pointed out. Then uh, we don't currently the driving mechanism is unclear because uh, we know the above for the current is the reaching for the black hole surface. And then some current is going out of the, this equator plane. But we don't know the how to load in for the, this between to the, this clothing of the, this current over there because this is surface of the black hole. So this is one of the ambiguity or still it's discussing part is for there. But simulation is show about for the membrane paradigm, it looks okay. So if seeing something about for the some loading, but uh, someone also think about for the, this is a pair creation is a gap to making for the loading of the through to the, this connection there. Of course, it's a infinity region also still we don't know yet. No, it's a, if do about for the three plus one, I know it's a cartridge type of coordinate because the inner boundary is including for the uh, black hole horizon inside there. Mm -hmm. Then it, uh, I think the Rosanna Penna is taking for the membrane paradigm structure. It's also applicable or not that uh, based on the geometry simulation mm -hmm. to using for the simple black hole magnetosphere type of work. Then she said, yeah, this is membrane paradigm is applicable there. Uh, the penna, uh, Rosalina, uh, Ros uh, the penna, I think, is doing for this kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so this is a, a, the brown for tonight. It's a simply, you can conserve up some uh, closing current, making for the energy extract over there. Then, so the, the, this is a, a black, uh, the jet formation mechanism is now we are discussing, and mostly we are uh, think about the MHD process, it's most uh, the preferable. To jet formation, and then so many geometric simulation of the jet formation is also subject to the spine of the jet. It's driven by the magnetic field leading on the ergosphere or MHD process or brown force like process. Yeah. This, this is the broad cis wind and driven by the magnetic field anchored in the accretion disk. So maybe this is also the mildly relativistic wind. And then the center becomes highly magnetized flow. It's accelerated rolling factor is more than one. And then, but most of energy is remain to the magnetic field in this case. So this is a, a, a McKinney's is a, a simulation. And then we also, the, I think if you are doing for the harm simulation or some of the things, maybe you can see the similar picture because the, this is high, uh, low density, high magnetized spine. And then this is a, between the transition region between to the high magnetization, the, some uh, the matter is flowing up to the, uh, the wind structure there. Similar picture also getting for the, my previous uh, the simulation. This is the one of the jet. It's only think about for the non rotating black hole case. It's much it's black hole case. We see only for the one type of jet. But if you think about the fast rotating case, we have a two component jet, it's including of there. <coughs> so uh, this is kind of the jet formation. It looks happen for the uh, GLMH simulation right now. Then, but uh, this. The jet is given for the magnetic energy is dominated region. So the, now it's the jet energetics over there. So gravitation, gravity or rotation energy of the black hole accretion disk is transported to the pointing flux energy to making for the, uh, the outflowing jet. This is a very efficient conversion of the electromagnetic energy. Then after that, this is pointing flux and the magnetic energy is converted to kinetic energy. 
of the jet. But this is uh, easy to get in for the equipation, but hard to get to the fully convert to the structure. And this is also based on to the uh, the analytical work. So there, so magnetic field is, is the medium for the transmit to and then not to the source so of the energy. So this is an important point. MHD is a uh, helping for the transport of the energy, but this is not directly the source of the energy. Then, so the next talk about for the jet collimation. So jet is produced by the MHD process near to the center of the object, and the magnetic field is tightly is tied up, so the torsional field is dominated case. It means this is kind of situation it's happened to there, because uh, this is simply to the magnetic field is also only torsional magnetic field there. In this case, as a force, the Lorentz force is much larger than to the, uh, the pressure of the plasma under the inertia. So it means the huge tension force of the wind up to the magnetic field, we say this is making a full stress, to compress the flow, it's towards the axis region. This is the, we say the self collimation to there. I think the young Sierra object, it's this kind of self collimation is working very nicely, but relative situation, it's no, outside the no. Because in the current, it's closing region, it's the force is acting the decollimation structure of there. Because this is only for the current, it's flowing up to this direction, but like this, a uh, uh, brown photonic process or something. Current should be somewhere in the closing. Otherwise, doesn't it only one direction over there. So if you think about for the closing for the current over there, this flip solid is opposite power is getting there. So making for the decollimation of the jet, jet boundary structure over there. So because this is the jet is flowing out, this is flowing down, one of the this boundary region is making for the, this is becomes the shape of the jet. But this is making for the decollimation of the structure. So. Because you are considering the closing. Yes, closing, yes. yes. Closing current. Mm -hmm. And then, so this is a, is a, so we need to think about for the jet collimation, it's, we recently, we are mostly think about, jet is not self collimated. Maybe we need some external confinement it's needed to make him for the jet is collimated structure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. uh, probably, uh, okay, this, this is also uh, debatable, mm -hmm. but the fact that the strong, uh, the corrosion point is mm -hmm. stronger in near the nuclear region, yeah. mm -hmm. and therefore it's pointing to us from the yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, uh, yes. yep. this, this region is fine, but uh, if you think about for the, this boundary region, because uh, maybe we are seeing about for the boundary region, it's also the less weakly magnetized region, and then this is only for to the, some radially profile. There. Right. So where you can see about for the jet, so if you see only about for the very centralized, strongly magnetized region, this is maybe self collimated by the full stress. Mm -hmm. But if jet is everything is going, including for the wind type, say, it's also including a jet, this is net self collimated, okay. right? So this is a... The, the, the plasma part. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you, you have some power mm -hmm. in the pointing to Yeah, this is a yes, true, yes. And then this will allow yeah. potentially yeah. So I just yeah, mentioned what the jet profile of the plasma profile over to the magnetic field structure. Okay, so the external confinement is how to come in for this one. So the, in the black hole accretion disk system, the relativistic outflow from the black hole onto the uh, inner part of the accretion disk could be confined by the mildly relativist magnetic width window from to the outer part of the thick disk. So this is now, it's most of the MHD simulations see about the naturally, this kind of the picture. So high center part is strongly uh, polar, uh, point in flux dominated region is there. And then, so some, uh, the plasma matter is mildly relativistic, jet wind is also flowing to the there. So we say two component jet structure. Then, inner part is, we say, jet. Outside region is, say, external wind, or something like this. But nothing in, I mean, mostly in these uh, uh, holes, like simulation. Hmm? Nothing, 
But uh, the circle snipe also. No, I think it's a uh, McKinney tried to do the such kind of thing as far as I remember. Yeah. So they are including for the very uh, circular snipe of the collision thin disk, including for the radiation effect also, and then put onto the, uh, the toroidal magnet feed, uh, and uh, the toroidal magnet feed. They also try to make him for the very high resolution at the equator frame. Then they can manage to the MRIs inside of the thin accretion disk. Then they also make him for some outflow. But they doesn't make him for the strong magnet feed is the under the center part. They doesn't reach him for the any jet type structure. As far as to the, I forgot the name. Uh, uh, Oleg, Oleg Sadovsky try to do this kind of work also. Yeah, is a. There are several women doing this second class mm -hmm. yeah, There are several with extreme uh, light geometry, but it's ah, okay. <laughs> still. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, and then to the GRB is also the related jet from the uh, collapsing core plus, and then to push it away through to the stellar envelope. So, it's more easier to make it for the confinement of the, this jet case there. So co collimation versus acceleration. For the jet collimation, the external confinement is, looks like not necessary. This is the, my point of view. And then without the external confinement, the jet flow is nearly radial, and the acceleration stops at the early stage based on to the uh, early uh, analytical solution, analytical calculation of the jet formation. Then the gas pressure profile of the external confinement medium is an important parameter. Then the spatial distribution of the confinement gas pressure is determined by the shape of the jet flow boundary and the magnetic field configuration and the acceleration rate done by the, the Sasha Tchaikovsky and the commissar of work and also Rybarsky doing for the, some analytical work over this part. So the, we have at the two at the point, optimal collimation and this is the gas pressure decreases slowly along the jet, but Getting for the optimal acceleration, the gas pressure decreases rapidly the, along to the jet. So this is a completely contradictory part of them. So the collimation and acceleration of the jet is related for the polar magnetic field configuration. So this is the, one of the point of view currently there. So this is the uh, commissar of the 2D uh, relativity image simulation result given for the parabolic structure or conical structure. So now we show up for the, uh, the color is making for the Lorentz factor. And then so the acceleration is become the slow, but collimation is okay into the uh, parabolic case. But if consider about the uh, conical, uh, the acceleration is very fast, but collimation is not so good. So this is a complete opposite, same thing to the, this is the optical collimation, and, the, and then this making for the slowing up to the, uh, the jet. But getting for the high acceleration, need to the more rapidly decrease on there. So some part of the jet can convert the repointing flux to the kinetic energy, but mostly still magnetic energy is the dominated region. So energy conversion is too slow to become the kinetic energy dominated. So it is unreasonably long distance. It's also the inconsistent for the current observation. So we need to some consider the some sort of the dissipation. This is rapid energy conversion. Yeah, so I just later talk to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> just go into this direction over there. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this, yeah, this is an important point of view. We also many, many uh, analytical solution to calculate for the jet acceleration part, but this is the jet collimation shape and the jet acceleration is completely contradict uh, the point of view. Then this is something harder. So is a, this is a global structure emitted jet again. So MS7 jet, so the asymptotic acceleration from the non-relativistic to the relative speed is over to the 10 to 2 to 10 to 5 uh, uh, the Schubert radius. Uh, yeah, yes, Schubert radius. So here to the this is one of the point. This is the, uh, the HST one, this is the most accelerated point. Then after that, this is some decreasing of the, the acceleration. So this is a very slow acceleration. So it means it's consistent with the theoretical result. But this is the absence of the bulk com compensation spectra as signature in the blazer. It's implied to the Lorentz factor. It's might be this is more than 10, must be the attained at the at least 1,000 Schwarzschild radius, uh, Schwarzschild gravitation radius. 
But according to the spectral fitting, that is already matter dominated around the 1,000 gravitational radius. So we have a several uh, difference or several uh, the mismatch of the theory and the observational point of view. For the, this is the jet is dominated magnetic energy or jet is still kinetic energy is dominated. So if we see above for the, this is same component we can see or we can see the different component, this is also still debating point. Recently, most of my view is maybe some uh, the radio component is see above for the more outside of the jet, but inside of the X-ray or some optical or more higher energy is getting for the more inner type of the jet. So maybe we can see some different point of view. But this is see my point of view, not not coming to the conclusion about that. Yeah. Do you have any comments? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, the dissipation in the jet. So time dependent energy injection in the jet is making for the internal shock in the jet. And then sudden change of the confined to the external medium is a special profile. This is making for the recollimation shock or rarefaction acceleration. It depends on the case. And so the magnetic field also reverse or deform of the ordered magnetic field. Also, this is making for the magnetic reconnection. Then MHD instability in the jet, this is also considered for the Kelvin Helmholtz instability at the jet boundary, or current driven kink instability at the jet interior. Also, this kind of the instability is making for the turbulence in the jet, and this is leading for the magnetic reconnection. So the dispersion of the jet is now it's we have a several energy points. So taping for the kinetic energy. So the internal shock, recombination shock, Kelvin Helmholtz instability. Also, this is taking for the kinetic energy to change. But this is a, we are prefer to get in for the magnetic energy is combined to kinetic energy. So this is case, it's mostly that this is the internal shock, it's kinetic energy is combined to thermal energy. This is also a prefer to better to conserve for some shock acceleration. So particle acceleration is made of this kind of part. But we are now this part of the jet, it's making for the magnetic energy, it's combined to the kinetic energy. This kind of the uh, <coughs> dispersion is more preferable. So one is the rare fraction acceleration, or kind of driven kink instability, and then this also magnetic reconnection. Such kind of prefer to this uh, dispersion mechanism for the pointing flux dominated jet is a conversion for the pointing flux to the kinetic energy. So I also here skip to the detail of the relative symmetry simulation work about the magnetic dispersion because uh, mostly I can do it for the many part of the, this kind of work related to the recombination shock, uh, current of kink, kink, uh, the Kelvin Helmholtz instability, air function acceleration, uh, the current of kink instability, and also magnetic recognition work with the Betty also to that. So if you are interested in, so maybe I can give more time to more, uh, the papers my work over there. Okay, so this is a uh, jet part. So the next is talk about for the black hole shadow again over there. Yeah. Hmm? This one? Yes, this one. In the sense of it, we have these uh, objections of birth of transparent mm -hmm. and the uh, Betty demonstration that the Lorentz factor yeah. must be uh, able to change mm -hmm. uh, at least 1,000 yeah. times. Mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless, this is constrained by model. Yes. Of course, this is a bi model. So, this is a one model or two yeah. model. This is completely dependent. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, in this sense, um, there is not much that we can say about this, uh, you know, the transition mm -hmm. where, where it takes place. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Do we agree with this? Yeah, this is the yeah, one of the agree. Yes, this is dependent on the modeling. Yes, to the mm -hmm. fitting over there. Yeah. So, this is a completely, is a, yes. It's so. Yeah, so the at least based on to the yeah, this kind of the M87 is uh, maybe this is okay because the very, very slow acceleration is a long term, but this is everything getting for the radio observation. So radio observation, maybe we can see some somehow very is a outside region of the jet, not showing about the inner of the jet. So that I think the Masa is a Nakamura mentioned. Based on the, this result, 
So the even for the HST1 region, magnetic energy is still dominated than to the kinetic energy to the uh, M87 case. But of course, based on the, some spectral fitting or something, this case is, uh, oh, it uh, looks like a kinetic energy is dominated or something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, see part of that some debate, but I, I'm not still, I couldn't, yeah, clear idea how to explain this example. But my belief is we need some part of the energy is a conversion somewhere in the getting for the rapid uh, dissipation. This is a, our, yeah, it's a consensus. At least we need to just uh, think. Okay, so there were any question about for the jet? It doesn't help. Maybe I can just switch him up to the. Okay, so the. <laughs> All right, so the we can uh, switch in for the. This is a, yes, this is a quite, yeah, um, um, question mark part of this. So we are concerned about for the inner boundary inside the black hole. So inside black hole, it usually doesn't have any magnet field, but somehow we can into the magnet field in, into the black hole region. But this is, uh, yeah, this is assumption, yes, yeah. But good things, of course, the inner, inside of the event horizon, we don't have a, this is loss of the causality. So we don't have any information if sitting for the outside of the base, the outside of the event horizon. We cannot see this is also inside the magnetic field, also touching each other inside or not. Because uh, changing for the, uh, the observer, like the Boyer-Nick coordinate, all, all flows that's stopping at the horizon. So something this is, looks not nicer, but maybe the causality is just out, so we are say okay. We, no one doesn't see this is the yeah, similar thing sometimes. So okay, do we any question about that? Okay, so the changing for the topics about for the prediction of the relativity black hole shadow image. So the millimeter centimeter VLBI of the EHT will be achieved for the event horizon scale observation. So getting for the black hole shadow image in the near future. The ingredient for the relativity theoretical image for the black hole shadow is why the plasma behavior surrounding the black hole. So we are concerned about the time evolution of the accreting matter on the black hole and formation of the relativity jet. Second part is radiation process. So we are concerned about the general relativistic effect. So that we are talking about the, the photon, it's through to coming for the geodesic. So we are thinking about the geodesic. And also that we concerned about the redshift because the, the frequency also changing. The thermal and the non thermal radiation process because the how to get in for the emission is also think about for the not emission process. So that this is thermal emission process or non thermal emission process. And also we think about the optical thickness because where the optical uh, the thickness is high, then how to get in for the emission. This is also related for the completely uh, the image structure. Then also the, uh, the black hole space time is also important. Simply, Shibarshi, Ka, this is much difference of the rotation of the effect of the black hole. And then VLBI array configuration and some scheduling. This is getting for now it's more realistic estimate of the we can see about for the picture or not. So the tool is we are now mostly doing for the general relativity image decode. It's coupling with the general relativity radiation transfer code and synthetic imaging to consider about for this VLBI array configuration and the scheduling. So this is a, I have already uh, shown about for the seminar, about for the back simulation code. So this simulation is initially starting up to the, uh, the accretion torus. Uh, this is, we say the Fishman-Moncliffe accretion torus. Think about for the uh, 
Boyer linkage coordinate car, it's meeting for the solution. Then we can also handle it for the, this is convert to the Cartier coordinate simulation. Then here the, this is our simulation parameter. This is A equal to the 0.9375. This is quite rapid rotate block of case. And the torus inner position is around the 6. Is the maximum position around the 12. This is, oh, this is the scale is M. This is a, a gravitation radius. Then we are put onto the A5 is someone, it, it's, this is proportional to the density, it's making for the single loop type of the magnetic field inside the torus. And the plasma beta, it's, we can get in for the 100. Then in the coordinate is uh, using for the logarithmic Cartier coordinate because of the, we would like to get in for the more higher resolution near to the horizon region. And also we try to get in for the a little bit further away to simulation. Actually, this simulation is doing for to the, uh, the just inside of the horizon and up to the 2500M. So this is a little bit far away over there. Then uh, uh, we also try to think about some uh, floater value to avoiding up to the, some, uh, the uh, vacuum structure of the, this simulation because the MHD simulation is not handling for the vacuum because uh, everywhere we need some put of the plasma matter. Then we try to put onto some plasma matter this minimum value, so like this, uh, this kind of the profile we try to put on, we say this atmosphere treatment. So it, uh, this is a uh, harm 3D simulation, and then right hand side show about for the uh, back simulation uh, case. Here we are using for the, now show about for the logarithmic density at the uh, T equal to 2000M, resolution using for the 512 times 512, that is the 2D simulation. And then uh, we are using for the PPM reconstruction, uh, Lux Friedrich Riemann solver, and Flux CT, uh, the, yes, constraint transport we can use. It. So if you see about for the uh, structure to density, inside the torus become to the uh, turbulence because uh, based on the MRI, the magnet rotation instability making for the torus, uh, the turbulence inside the magnetic torus, then this is uh, the transport angle momentum, then the, the torus matter is up to the black core, then also with to the magnet field. Some part of the matter is flowing out of to the this torus, and then high magnetization region is also developing for the, this the thinner region over there. Then we say some is the transition between to the, this high magnetization and the low magnetization. We say this is the cis region. So this is the, uh, one of the basic picture you can compare to the, this, the two harm 3D simulation, the back simulation case, almost similar in the size of the case. So maybe we don't see so much difference. So this now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think that somewhere it's. Global structures, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. Do, do, do you have an idea why this and the, the, it's, it's less, let's say, less, more lamina, more lamina hmm. than the harm? What is the... This is not sure yet, first. I think it, we are mostly using for the very similar uh, numerical technique, both of case, using for the PPM reconstruction and then Riemann Solba. Uh, Lux reader Riemann solver flux CT. And the, uh, the resolution size is almost similar, we can try to use. So I think the difference is maybe using for the different formulation. Atmosphere treatment, maybe I say, I think it's one, our case is one order smaller than to the harm case, but I think it doesn't so much affect over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, so this region you mentioned over there. Oh, yes, I think, yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, yes, that, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, okay. Sorry, one, one more again. Ah, no, I think it's, uh, we, also we can try it, but this paper is 
this case we doesn't use. Yeah. Uh, no, this is not, we say not use one. This is a logarithmic density. Oh, okay. So oh. R is uh, the logarithmic, but C types is a uh, uniform. Mm -hmm. Because uh, sometimes harm using for the more concentrated around the resolution at the, this region, but our case it doesn't use. I think maybe we need more precisely a comparable for the resolution to the theta direction. So I expect, yeah, this is maybe the harm 3D case using for the more higher resolution than to the our back code. Yeah. Yes, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to there. So this is a, a plasma beta, it's a profile. So if you see about for the torus, yes, of course yeah, this is some part of the different little bit coming to there. But yeah, this is mostly morphologically similar. Uh, this is also shown about for the previous stage. This is mass accretion rate. It's, this is up to the, this one in the linear stage, and then after that, going to the nonlinear stage. Nonlinear stage is very, very uh, rapidly uh, changing. At least 2D case, it's more rapid than to the 3D case, as far as I remember. So, but based on the, see this one, we see the, the nonlinear, before to the, the uh, nonlinear stage, this is very, very nicely matched with the old simulation with the back code and the harm 3D code using for the different resolution. But of course, the final structure a little bit is the mass accretion rate a little bit different. Also, the mass, this is also related for the magnetic field accretion rate is a little bit also different. But this is minimum, doesn't so much affect. Factor two, easy to happen using for the same resolution, same simulation, but different uh, the configuration of the uh, random perturbation after the nonlinear stage, different picture. Okay. So this is more precise we can try to think about. This is not, sorry, this is not uh, the mass accretion, uh, accretion rate. This is Adimisha average disk profile of the quantity of the interest of the back and arm region. So this is uh, uh, the average making for some disk structure profile. So this is the density, temperature, magnetic field, gas pressure, magnetic pressure, and the plasma beta. So based on the disk region, making for some average is the quantity. So the, this is back onto the harms uh, simulation. It's very, very nicely matched. So at least we say doesn't so much difference to get it. So this is, a, is a one of the uh, good points there. So uh, based on the event horizon telescope project, so now we are doing for to the also the code comparison test to based on to the uh, se several general, general reality image code, including for the back code, harm code, uh, Athena plus plus, and the coral, and the echo uh, code, and then uh, hammer code. This is also included there. But several code is coming from the originally from the harm family code. And then our back code is, and the echo code is using for the Valencia type formula. So we are, mostly we can sit and see about for some agreement of the result. But see now it's paper writing. Okay, so the, this is the 3D geometry simulation of the magnetized torus. So the, uh, the previous one show about for the 2D, but 3D case it's more, and uh, MRI is also showing about for the, uh, the very patchy structure onto the, uh, the density, onto the uh, accretion disk, uh, the torus inside there. This is also the density over there. Then uh, the, we can make it for the black hole shadow image based onto the, this one. So I try to a little bit about for the black hole shadow image, how to make this one also. Yeah. So uh, the black hole shadow is a, uh, this is a ray pass up to the, uh, the black hole image. Here we are showing about for the one of the uh, schematic picture. So this is the center of the black hole, and then this is the uh, disk. We say this is the inclination angle of the observer. This is the observer plane. Usually we can get in for the more far away over there, but this is simply we can put on here. This is for schematic picture. So this is a one of the direct image because of the uh, to the light path it's bending around to the black hole region because the space time is curved because the uh, light path is followed to the geodesic motion. Then this geodesic is also curving up to the space time. Then this case is, we are see about for the direct image onto the 
top of the accretion disk into the this region. But also that this is backside emission is also bending to the a black hole the geodesic and then reaching for to the our case. So image is making for the this kind way. Then shadow diameter is non-spinning case is around to this one. The spinning case is also calculated this one. So that this value is not so much. I think, yeah, maybe I can show about photo later to about photo the more a strong difference is there. So shadow size shape is also encountered a uh, general relativity. I can also show about later a little bit this one also. So this is a, a geodesic at the line. So I explained the geodesic is one of the, uh, the right paths of the, this is the most shortest line of the, this one. So if this is a special relative case, is that this right path is just a straight line. But the black hole case, is, this is curved space time. So curved space time making for that something is curved around to the, uh, the black hole. So we are see about for that, this is the ray path is coming from the further away to the perfect, uh, the parallel. Then outer region is slightly bending, but doesn't help. But inside here, we can see about for the some part it, uh, the line is bending over there, but this is also escape back to there. But some light is completely bending and reaching for the black hole. So this is uh, a small uh, line. I think it's uh, how to see there. So this is uh, uh, the final uh, unstable photon orbit. Inside, if you enter the inside of this photon orbit, capture of the black hole. So this is uh, the pure Shibashi black hole case. If you see about for the car black hole case, this is a completely much complicated structure to come there. Because black hole is also rotating. Then the frame is dragging over there. Even for this one, is photon is coming to here, but frame dragging making for this direction, it's over there. Then this is capital for the black hole it's over there. So this is that, uh, how dif different for the geodesic. So we can show about for the, this is the black hole boundary image of there. So this is a, a black hole shadow boundary curve. Then this is in the different inclination angle. We are sure about for the curve black hole case with the A equal 0.998. So this is, a, is the most is the inclination angle is changing for to the, from to the zero to the 90 degree over there. So this is the spin uh, direction is over there. This is a zero degree, this is a 90 degree. So if you see about for the inclination angle equals zero, this is almost just a circle. This is similar to the Shiba sheet. And then, but inclination is going to the, going down to the equator plane. And the, we, the, this image is a little bit shifted, and then this is elongated, asymmetric structure is made up to there. So this is a, a one of the inclination angle difference. And uh, this is also the difference of the shadow industry. This is a, we are changing for to the a parameter. A parameter it's also making for to the a complete circle of the Shibashi case. But if uh, the spin parameter become large, this is making for asymmetric structure is over there. Directly the blue curve. I think I put it. So blue curve is splash it and then red curve is over there. No, it's but it's over there. So a bit yeah, hard to see about for this one. And then also the uh, different is a black hole is a metric also making for a similar boundary curve, but is a different black hole is a metric. Uh, we say the alternative theory of gravity. This is including for to the some contribution of the mass of the black hole. So faking for the ADM mass. So our previous I showed about the, this Dilaton black hole case. Also this, this Dilaton charge is faking up to the, uh, the black hole mass. So we say is a fix of the ADM mass, but uh, the Dilaton parameter become bit larger, black hole mass becomes smaller. Then in this case, it's, uh, yeah, shadow side becomes smaller to smaller. So this is similar uh, effect is show about for the discount car cell metric or a uh, car tab not metric or some other metric also to say. But this, if you say about this deformation, it's quite small to compare to the normal black hole shadow side. Hopefully we can catch this kind of the effect, but I think it's, at this to the days of the 2070 data, maybe it's hard to catch up currently. Yeah. This plot is just for photons reflecting energy than we are looking at, right? Yes, so this is a, yes, we are sure about for the, uh, the boundary region because of where it's, it's a capture of the black hole. 
So where is, is the photon is returned back to the earth. So this is show back to the, this side. So actually this is a black hole shadow image, but this is the actual black hole side. Of course, not taking into account what will happen with this photon. Yes. With the yes, of course. Mm, yes. So at this, any kind of emission is inside of this region. Everything is kept as a black hole. It becomes a black. So, so we try to say in the curricular for this kind of what, what is the final position of the, uh, the emission? It return back to us. So we can get in for the information of the, uh, the emission there. So this is making for the black hole shadow boundary information there. So is a which gravity is theory is correct? So we are. Oh, I think we are. It's okay. Yes, so that maybe, yeah, we can get into the first image of black hole shadow. Then, so that we, if the observation is sufficiently accurate, we are getting for the some provide evidence for the existence of the event horizon, or some testing for the no hair theorem in the GR. So we have a, if this is no hair theorem is correct, we doesn't have a, any hair. But this is not true. If this is, we have a additional hair. This is a very important found of there. Or we can also test it for the GR itself against the number of the theory of gravity. So this is the same as that. Yes, we are just doing for the some part of the uh, the alternate theory of gravity through to the metric theory of the gravity to parameterize the metric to pass into the yeah. So okay, ah, I put onto the uh, the different position over there. So first, I can say about for the uh, the black hole shadow again to information over there. This is the uh, uh, the our colleague the Zili Yonsi to make you making for this kind of movie to based on to the boss code. And then now we are showing about for the optical thick accretion torus. This is not uh, how to say the simulation. This is a one of the static accretion torus over there. Then they can okay, need to start movie. So this is changing for the inclination angle, then how to change in for to the this shape of there. So this is the complete equation angle, then Return back to the this is opposite side. Okay, so this is movie is also continuously made up to this one. So this here we can also write in for to the some uh, the emission line spectra. So especially like this a uh, 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 ion uh, the alpha line is k alpha line skating for there. Maybe you can see about for the this kind some shape of to the this difference. Maybe you can see about for there. So this is also depend on the what kind of inclination angle yes. made of there. Yes, this is show about for to the different uh, the, ang uh, the angle of to the this is between from zero to the <coughs> 180 degree to over there. But yeah. The is static, right? yes. yes, this is a complete static torus setup. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think we can first we can set up for the some torus and then torus making for the some uh, the line emission based on the, this torus setup. This is give to the some line emission. So the, this is modeling for the emission line information. Calculation yeah. the the yep. Then we can just change in for the inclination angle. Right. So this is uh, yeah. Ah. Ah, okay, so metric is a, this is a, I think this is a car metric. Or Shibashi, I, sorry, I forgot to this one. So maybe she about for the shadow structure. I think this is a, uh, this is pure Shibashi. Or uh, I think it's a, yes, this is a car metric ah. using for this one. Then it's a, this is the optical signal accretion torus. This is a one of the torus setup. Then uh, changing for the uh, calculate for the general relative radiation transfer calculation to the each different angle they making for this kind of movie. Yeah. Okay. So this is the optical thick case. Then this is the optical thin case. Here, oh, it's starting. No, it's, yeah, it, this looks start now. Yeah, this is yeah slightly moving over there. So now it's. The, Yes, geometrically thick, optically thin, or thick. This is a different point there. So the, if you see about the optical thin case, so even for the this is equator plane, maybe you can see about for the some plane jet, uh, the 
shadow structure with penetrated accretion disk over there. So this is also how difference of the. So if optical thick case, it's black hole shadow at the side, at the information is completely obscured of the accretion torus. But optical thin torus case, it's we cannot penetrate over there. One side is bright is because this is rotation of there. Okay. So it means that one part is, is, a, is a blue shifted, one part is red shifted. Do you compatible with the initial solution that you yep. created at the time? Mm -hmm. so yep. Okay. Uh, I, I think the movie is something stopped. So, a little bit still. So, this is a Dilaton and Black Hole. I, I also tried to a little bit about for the, again, about for the, what I talk about the seminar part. So again, maybe many of us, you have already heard of this, uh, but I just say again to there. So that we, based on the, uh, the, this uh, general reality MHD simulation, our team also tried to think about for the, what's the effect of the metric. So how to, if you, we can observe in for the black hole shadow, we can testing about for the uh, alternative theory of the gravity. Of course, we believe in the black hole shadow, uh, the black hole is part of the car black hole. This is standard black hole, but if we say this is, say about this is a clearly the black hole, the car black hole, we need understand the black hole shadow image through to the, this ordinary theory of gravity. Then we say this is, oh, this is a completely different picture, say we can clearly rule out or not. So this is the first of the point of view I try to do in for the some part of the different the ordinary theory of gravity. Here we can use it for the non-loaded in Dilaton black hole, also, this is something very uh, funny type of alternative theory of gravity because uh, this is starting for the Einstein Maxwell Dilaton Axel gravity theory, which is also low energy limit at the bosonic sector of the heterodox string theory. So, this is originally this kind of the, uh, Dilaton coming for the string. <laughs> Dumping for the four dimensional picture, then this is making for the, this kind of the black hole there. If this is uh, the cosmology, it's String theory is true. This kind of black hole is also may come some, but don't know yet. Anyway, this is one of the good points. This is one of the actual solution of the one of the alternative theory of gravity. Then this is also we know this is a, a, a stable, not not so much, not disrupted based on the perturbation. Then also the very simpler to the metric. So this is a spherical symmetric a metric of the oh yes if we consider for the action field it's and also black hole spin the vanish. Such black hole is described as a spherical symmetric metric to like this here. So if you think about for the, this is m equal to mu plus b, and then to the r square is rho square plus 2br, so it means to the radial coordinate position is also shifting, like this uh, Lorentz uh, contract, then depend on to the, this is uh, uh, the Dilaton charge. And then so also the ADM mass is also getting for the total mass of the uh, system of the black hole. But this is also including for the, this Dilaton in the parameter case. And it is clear also if P equals to zero, we can reproduce, uh, reproduce a Schwarz black hole metric. And then we also using for the regular Dzenko parameter as metric to describe the, this non loaded in Dilaton black hole case metric to the, to the simulation. So uh, we also try to do it for the three different uh, position because the, each of the discount of the black hole, we know about for the where it's located of the horizon, where it's located about for the unstable uh, photon orbit, and then where it's we located the ISCO position on the equator plane. This is solving up to the, uh, the uh, based on to the uh, Lagrangian of the, this particle. It's a show about for the, I think it's uh, yeah, Wednesday to there. So similar things is also we can do in for the this is Dilaton parameter, a Dilaton black hole case. Then we can know about for the where, what time number of to the, uh, the Dilaton parameter, what number of to the horizon position or ISCO position at the photon orbit position. Then this is also compare about for the car, uh, car uh, black hole case. This is both of the match case over there, we can say. So the based on the, our simulation, we just using for the car spin parameter is 0.6. Then we can choose in for the, yes, horizon, same uh, horizon radius case, choose in for the this Dilaton parameter, or we can get in for the same photon orbit size, we can get in for the this Dilaton parameter, 
Or, oh yes, we can set in for the same ISCO parameter, we can choose in for the, this parameter over there. Then we can do in for the simulation. So this is a, I have already shown out. Come on, please. No. I think, yeah, this is a, a simulation to use in for to the, uh, my uh, Dilaton code. So this is a Dilaton black hole case, and then this is a car black hole case. So we, the car black hole case is also black hole horizon is a little bit larger than to compare to the this is Dilaton black hole because uh, this is Dilaton black hole, the Dilaton parameter is larger. It means the mass black, uh, black hole mass becomes smaller, then horizon size is also smaller. Also, I try to make it for the very similar torus mass outside of the, this, uh, the both of case. Then uh, the Dilaton black hole solution is a little bit extended torus structure, but this structure it doesn't so much change over there. So this plasma behavior it doesn't change between to the car and the Dilaton black hole case. So we are see about for the MRI both of OCA, then inside it become a turbulence. <coughs> but magnet field twisting is a little bit different because to the rotating black hole car case is also the ergosphere is magnet field twisted more strongly. Then we can see about for the more twisted magnet field around to the active region. But Dilaton black hole is, of course, this is a you know, rotating black hole, so we ergosphere doesn't have, and then black hole doesn't twist the magnet field. So we are seeing about for the more poroidal type of magnet field along to the, uh, the active region. So this is a, is a two different uh, the system. The, the, at least this is based on our simulation, so we can try to do this kind of thing. So, okay. so we have, this is a, a black hole shadow image. So this is a, a intensity mass. Based on the, this GR image simulation, we can calculate for the GRRT calculation. Then we are uh, making for the, uh, this intensity map. So using for the 230 gigahertz uh, frequency, inclination angles are 6 degree. And the important point we are doing for the time averaging for the data. So we are, first we can get in for the each time of the slice of the data, starting over there, then making for the average image, the intensity. So this is a, is a, a car black hole case, and then this is a gelatin black hole case, and then this is a, is a difference between the, these two of them. So emission model is we fix, and the, this is TIT is, is a three, and the M dot is 10 to minus nine. So I think it's a size that is size around to 10 to minus eight. So I think this number is roughly okay. And then so that this fixed term is also, it's very most simplest situation. We can, also, uh, yes, we are fixed up to the, this emission. It's 230 gigahertz. It's same as the observational point. Then uh, this is 1.3 uh, gigahertz. Oh, no, no, no. This is three Jansky we can set at the size, and then this is making for the, this kind of image. This is, this is yeah, this is a site A star. We can <laughs> it's applied over there. So we actually, we can consider for the distance of the site A star. And then also the uh, this mass of the black hole also cited yesterday. How would you do expected modifications? Yeah. Would you say increase TIATP hmm? and increase the magnetic field? I think it's not so much. Uh, the uh, the TITP is making for the uh, the profile of the. Uh, yes, something. Uh, the, yes, this is the. Shadow property is the same, but uh, I think the extended this emission structure is uh, something more extended, or we see up to the more uh, the residing region also sometimes getting for the emission. This is the changing for the here. But here, why we are using for this kind of number? Because uh, we are trying to concentrate about for the this side of the emission side, it's observing uh, the uh, regulation. Already the Shep Dorman uh, the paper is show about for the what the is the smallest size of the, the emission region. Right, right. This is one of the constraints we say. So we had, we, we should usually consider for the two constraints. One is the spectralized fit correctly, or is the emission is the, oh, the three. So the emission is also, uh, maximum emission is also correctly about for the this fitting of the um, observational limit. And this is the uh, size of the emission region. So I think based on to the, our model, Keeping for the 230 gigahertz, we have uh, keeping for the uh, 
uh, emission. Maximum emission is also uh, within the observation limit. And this is the size of the emission is also observation limit. But unfortunately, spectra is not so much nicely fit, fit to the case. But also we can set up 230 gigahertz with the same spectra. But spectral shape is sharper for the first part. This is extended, uh, the, I think it's uh, infrared over some X-ray emission, not so much perfectly fit. There. But around the, uh, the infrared structure, this is nicely fit. So uh, this is a uh, uh, black or shadow uh, picture. It's quite similar. We are making photos of some uh, pixel by pixel difference. And then, so we say this is a blue region. It's uh, so the shadow uh, side becomes smaller by to the gelatin black hole. We can make it for the blue ring structure over there. And uh, the offset of the asymmetric uh, of the shadow to make it for the this red structure over there. So the, if you see above the more uh, precisely more case, it, uh, this car black hole uh, shadow is uh, the asymmetric, but the gelatin black hole is something more symmetric structure. So uh, the symmetric, but this is a, if you, we say this is a, uh, but this is infinity resolution uh, image case. So we try to think about for the actual synthetic image to make up for the actual observational type of the image. We are concerned about the realistic property of the VLB array station and adjust of the April 2017 EHD observation. So this is a, uh, we also try to think about for the different observing time. This is a 12 hour observation. This is a six hour observation and everything. But this is a bit hard to see, but this is starting date time is a little bit different. And also we are uh, show up for the different color. It's going to the different uh, the antenna. It's participated to the observation. So here we are uh, say about for the, even for the same six hour observation, this time it's maybe this is the most nicely covered up to the, uh, the UV plane. Because here to the most shortest uh, UV plane also coming here, and then this is the most longest uh, the UV, uh, UV plane also nicely fit into the, this uh, UV plane over there. So this is the, uh, the uh, visibility amplitude information. So maybe we can see about this kind of thing. So this is the, uh, yeah, we just choosing for to the, this one. To, Otherwise, than this one over there. So observation. And also, actually, observation also using for the this kind of the situation. So I think it's we can also mostly follow to the. Yep. So in our colored C class, which has six hour uh, comparison of the six hour yes. observation. Yeah. What is the difference? Uh, are the wavelengths? Are why is the six hour in the last uh, variety is more covered compared to the other region? Yeah. Because of the this is also that you know about Earth is rotate. Then this is the point of the observation point of Cita Esther. So of course, the, this is, the, we need to fix the date about for the April 2017. Then we also minimize the time. Then we can say about for the, what's the elevation limit. Then each telescope, it's what time you can observe for the Cita Esther. We can decide there. Then this is depend on the, this, even for the same six hours. So we can different time scale to make it for the different UV frame because the different antenna is participated. Then this kind of difference is coming here. So we try to minimize the uh, most of the, part, uh, the antenna is participated and then fit into the nicely to the UV frame. So both okay. okay. Uh, yeah. If I mean one can do it at in any month and any day. Uh, yeah. That's right. We can do, but in order to the, we have already done the observation to April. So we try to manage for the, if you think about for the, compared to the 2017 EHD observation, we should follow to the same time scale. This is the point we say. Of course, which one is the more manageable thing? This, this is still this discussing point over there. So we can, uh, yes, we can choose in for the arbitrary to date of time. Observing for there. Yes. Okay, so this kind of the uh, calculation using for the EHIM, this is a Python module. This is the Event Horizon Telescope group. It's already prepared for this kind of the module to calculate for this one. 
Then uh, this is a synthetic image with a visibility amplitude. So actual amplitude and also uh, the phase is shown up there. This is left panel to the, uh, the car, and this is the dilaton. If you see above photo, that this is the most shortest baseline information over this point. We are saying about the constraint of the total flux is 3.4 Jansky in the both of the case. This 3.4 Jansky is the observational is evidence to we know to the previously how much the flux is coming from the cytal ester to the previous EHD observation. Then if you see about for this amplitude and also the this phase, so the uh, this visibility amplitude phase is the kind of zero is very, very similar to Shabbat today. And also we can make in photo that this is convolve the image to using photo the uh, beam site over there. Then already uh, this is smear out to the shape of the sharp uh, emission feature to be able to compare above photo the one, two, three. Come on. Yes, it's based on the, this DRRD image. So maybe you can see above photo the more. Yeah, so this is a, it has smeared already there. But also we try to show about for some contour to both of them. So based on to here, shadow size a little bit, this is smaller to compare about for there, but also emission regions very similar to there. So if consider for the a reconstruction image to make so compare about for the consider about for this convolved image, making for the visibility in the data set and they pick up to the, this UV plane information, then after reconstruct again, to making for the, this uh, the radio telescope image. I think if you know about for the radio data analysis, you know about for the, what's the UV plane data of the visibility data, how to reconstruct about for the, this kind of image, to the fully transform image over there. So uh, the, this is making for the non-scatter case and the with the scatter case, uh, we see about for the very similar value over there. Also we can show about for the some DSIM is also sound of the value to try to there, but this is very similar result over there. So reconstruction image already is a critical feature. See keeping of the crescent type of shape for the black hole shadow, but it, uh, we cannot see about for the some difference between two there. And also the making for the uh, cytal ester, we are including for the scattering. So we try to put onto some part of the scattering, but this is uh, the image becomes a little bit more blurry, so the so future is more smeared out over there. So also the future. We are considered about for to the uh, 340 gigahertz. I think as far as I know to the 2020 observation, this jump, jump into the, the 340 gigahertz observation. So we are considered about for to the, this additional uh, uh, the telescope is a possibility. Uh, the Haino also proposed to the African telescope into the Namibia currently. So we are put onto the, this uh, telescope, but also have a, a two location possibility. So we just here, I put onto the two African telescope, not the one telescope. Then, no. Yes. Yes, so the, if you, no, it's a, this is the same type of, the, we, of course, we are uh, the sound, uh, the mimicking of the observation to, how to say, uh, the antenna information. Uh, I haven't talked about one in the antenna information over there, but, here we can show about for the, this kind of antenna uh, the property, also the what kind of antenna improving here. We can put onto the arbitrary, I think the ARMA prototype of the, uh, the uh, telescope, put onto sim similar to the lemma, the way out to the some location, and then we can consider about for the same time, same observation. Then we know to the, the earth position of the, this antenna, and then we are this, uh, how much uh, the improving for the, this UV plane based onto the, this one. We can show up for this one is uh, not equal to that. Yes. I think the twelve hours we can also include for the already about for the, this, this antenna part of the there. So we can manage for the how uh, the UV plane nicely feeding up to the this information. Then yeah, we can calculate for this one. So the, this is GRRT convolved image, and then this is a convolved e event horizon telescope, 2017 plus the. Uh, the African antenna using for the 340 gigahertz. So compare about for the 230 gigahertz, 340 gigahertz getting for the more smaller emission side, and then this more tightly making for the shadow structure. So hopefully we can improve uh, the improve the ability to the distinguish the black hole shadow. How to separate this from the normal emission, non-shadow light emission? Non 
Hmm? This is a frequency of three, three forty kilohertz because the we know about for the uh, radiation process. So radiation, but like this, uh, synchrotron radiation. So we know about for the what kind of the profile over there. So we know this is a two thirty kilohertz emission point. This is a three forty kilohertz emission point. So the uh, uh, the total emission is also decreasing, mm -hmm. but of course this is become the resolution becomes smaller. So the angular resolution becomes small. We can get in for the more nicely yeah. to this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so, but I, I didn't get um, how to measure based mm -hmm. on the, the core emission. Core emission. No. Yeah. Ah, so you, you you want to say about some extended emission or not? Yeah. Frequency, right? uh, of course, this is a, if you think about the larger frequency, this is a different picture over there because the, this is not MHC, this is a cyta ester. Right. So this is, it doesn't have any jet emission. So it means that we do not have any core. Right. Okay? Right. Because if see about the MHC, of course, MHC is an is a optical stick and becomes the turn of a core is over there. So this is depend on the frequency. So we cannot penetrate seeing about the black or shadow image. Right. But it's a, if you think about for the 230 gigahertz, we have already touching for the shadow type image because uh, everything is already transparent passing through the core now. It's so this is already, that's right, it's already directly emission is coming from the black hole region already. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the site, uh, the seven millimeter wavelength is show about for this kind of picture. Mm -hmm. So we doesn't have uh, any core information over there. Okay? Yes, this is a 340 gigahertz, or this is a more uh, some millimeter. It's this is millimeter centimeter is m87. We also above for the core. Ah, so it's, 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 it's uh, 60, 60 is, 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 is large. I mean, of course, 16. Uh, this is the opposite. This is a, a gigabyte. This is a band, bandwidth. Bandwidth means to the how much data is yeah, coming for there. Yes. Frequency, yes. 340 gigahertz is a some millimeter wavelength. So this is getting for the more smaller uh, angular resolution, and then this is more wavelength. Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, this is a uh, uh, summary. So uh, there are many applications for using for the GRMH uh, work into the universe. And the uh, related jet has uh, seen many unsolved problems, such as jet formation, acceleration, collimation, or magnetic dissipation part. EAC observation will give us a fast black hole shadow image and the information about the jet formation site. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pretend you're natural. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then for the yeah, realistic theoretical model is a coupling with the free dynamics with the GL image simulation and the radiation calculation and then the radiation proce uh, the process and the radiation transfer is uh, important right now. Either GL image equation are the most simplest description about the macroscopic plasma in the GL regime. So the effect of the missing physics, right, like this, the radiation, resistivity, non-perfect fluid, et cetera, et cetera, will be investigated further. So still this is the part of the front of the GRMT simulation work. And also it will be also very important to coupling with the macroscopic plasma picture and to the microscopic plasma process. Like this, the coupling with the particle acceleration, so how to get in for the microscopic process effect of the macroscopic picture. This is also one of the frontier of the current this work over there. Yeah. Okay, so this is the thing.